what I think of is light. Like the way the light enters the space, how it makes it look. For me, home is just a space that I can be comfortable in. Where a lot of my things are, where I can be alone and feel safe but also choose what I want to do within that space to be with myself and with the people I love. The other thing is like having these small little habits around home, like watering the plants or like journaling at my desk, playing music in my room. Small habits where I can't do that in other places. I think it can be quite tough being queer and living with people that are not exactly receptive of it because that means having to conceal certain parts of yourself even when you're in a place where you're supposed to be free to express yourself. So it can be quite restrictive. It might be a bit hard to go about things like having like a phone call with someone that you're intimate with. So it's pretty hard. Yeah, you just don't feel safe in your own home, which is pretty alarming, but it's what queer people have to deal with. When it is ingrained into you what a nuclear family is, what a family should look like, and that doesn't fit in, it's hard to imagine for yourself what a family could mean. There is that desire to have what is an acceptable family, but like, do I really want this for myself or do I want this because it is normal? When I think of a family, it fundamentally is about taking care of each other, making sure that the home belongs to everyone. I think that if we are able to talk about a family as this thing that we intentionally construct, then it will actually be so much better for everyone. Right now, it's so hard to envision something for myself. Home feels very fluid in that sense that anywhere could be home if I decided at that moment. And on impulse, if I don't want that anymore, then can I shift? Is that logistically possible? Is that even good for me? Or should I just try to settle? You know, 